Yo, it's Rod here, Futures 8-Bit. I'm sorry to be disappointing. Um, this is emulation. Um, yeah, so Skyhawk, uh, the, the copy that I've got at least, doesn't work on my plus four, and it also doesn't work on my C16 that thinks it's a plus four. Might work on a real C16, don't have one to hand, but huh, Skyhawk, got to play it, right? So, yeah, emulation on Soz, but there we are. That's the sound switched on. So let's just get on with it. Um, obviously, some of you might be aware that obviously the best version is the... <laughs> bloody hell. The VIC-20 version, C64 version is brilliant as well. Um, but it's one of those games that you play it on a VIC and think, I thought VICs were supposed to be a bit rubbish. No, they're the best computer ever. Um, but yeah, this, um, so far so useless. I'm not very good at this, um, it seems. Uh, there we go, chasing all these guys up. There we go, well that's quite good. Yeah, so some of the effects are slightly different on the C16 version. I will say that I think the scrolling is um, cleaner, better. Uh, appears that there's no more shots, uh, ships to shoot. Planes? That's it, planes. Oh yeah, I have to apologise for using a micro switch ultra loud and imprecise joystick. I hate these joysticks. Um, but there you go. We have to do what we have available. But yeah, um, I wasn't aware of, uh, well, I don't think I was aware of the C16 version. Woo! of uh, Skyhawk, but here it is. Oh, you! It's one of those games, if you get into the swing of it, you'll do okay. As you can see, on my test go, I scored 100 points, and on my second go, I scored 70. I blame emulation. Oops. Oh, bloody hell. Ah. But okay, let's, let's enjoy the TED. We have a nice light green. We have a slightly darker green and a third, even darker green. What about that C64, eh? Um, obviously, we haven't got any sprites and only character graphics, but no, don't worry about that. But um, yeah, Ted's a slightly underloved machine, you know. It really could have been the replacement for the Vic 20 if they got it right, um, but it wasn't because they got it wrong. Um, anyone? I'll go the other way. Does that help? No. We get some more fuel. That's the easiest way to get killed. What did I tell you? So yeah. Hmm. How dull. Come on. Mm. And I think the worst thing about this is the fact that it doesn't go mm, bup, 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 when you fill up. That's gutting, actually. Ah! Probably because the TED does bad sound, but there we are. I mean, it's doing okay. The best bit of the sound is the following bit, really. That's a tune. A bad tune. Uh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so, yeah, I advise any of you that don't have a TED-based machine, if you're buying one on eBay or whatever, make sure you're buying a working one. Um... You can get TED chips. I know. I know. Uh, uh, Ian over at Mutant Caterpillar has got a bunch. Oh, that was um, interesting and lovely. Um, but the uh, was it eighty five ten CPU? No, you really can't get those. There's a few dotted around, but you'll pay through the nose. So yeah, if you are buying a plus four or a C sixteen, make sure it works. And ninety nine percent of plus fours are broken because the power supplies are terrible, worse than the C64, um, and the C16, because it's only 9 volt in, it's a far more basic power setup, and they seem to survive, uh, maybe because they run cooler, big chassis, um, but yeah, um, the power supply is the same as the one you would use on a Spectrum, so it's centre um, negative. Luckily, the future's 8-bit has them in stock. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I've matched my previous score. Oh, no. This is not good, is it? Right, come on. Let's get more than 100 points. Turn around! Every now and then. Sorry. You can quote that below. Comment below. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. 
Anyway, yeah, today is Tuesday the something or, or other. Um, weekend has passed. And had a rubbish weekend. And yesterday was hell. Today's been mostly hell. Um, totally did my headset today. Too many phone calls. Go on, hit you. Oh, come on. Ten more points. We can do it. Oh, I'm getting low on fuel. Oh, no. See... On the Vic version, just as you get a few pixels away, those little buggers in the radar will, will disappear. <gasps> Come on, 10 points. Yeah, it's got both of them. Nice one. Nice one, cool dudes, as Malik would say. Uh, Malik, what's his name? His name is the Malik comedian guy. He does a, quite a good YouTube. Maybe I'll link him below. He has far more subscribers than me, so he won't need it. Warning! Aruga! Oh, bugger! No, 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 no! Ah, oh, and then he shot it! That's rude! So, yeah, if you haven't figured out, um, I'm not very good at this version. Worse than I am on the proper versions on the proper computer. The VIC-20. The friendly computer. As used by William Shatner. Still today, apparently that's his main computer. But yeah, look at it. Three different types of green. It could even be four. That fence is a sort of poo green. Brown, slightly brown. But yeah, it just goes to prove that the TED doesn't just um, display bluey greys and grey blues. No, we have got green. And some near reds. Quite like the yellow. It's all about the colours with me. Yeah, so I will say this again. If you have a copy of Skyhawk that happens to work on a plus four, um, somehow get it to me, please. I mean, uh, there could be a copy on the internet, but I've not used Google to find one yet. I'm being lazy. I'm just going to complain instead. Oh, I got 200 points last time. Do you think anybody's ever got 10,000? No. Right. Okay, final go. Gotta be it. This is too many minutes on a game that I'm bad at. But at least I've seen it then. I'm gonna burp. Ba -ba 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 just just park it up here, shall I? <whistles> la 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 oh how? Spawn! Come on! I'll turn around then. And I'll do that. And now they're going to come. Here they come. No. Hmm. Maybe this is the problem. The game's just generally buggy. I've had the plane disappear a few times now. The odd weird corruption. Um, but yeah, this file will not bugger load on any of my real Commodores. Which is a bum. Uh, uh, that's... And, and that is the most annoying. It should um, bup, 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 not mm, mm, mm. That's just not right. Right. And I do promise you lot, I will never, ever load something in Vice again. I find it infuriating. I mean, it is quite easy for me normally just to reach for a computer and turn it on. Rather than have to configure what frickin' joystick I might want to use and uh boring. Don't do emulation. Right, I'm gonna try and get some fuel. Ready? And ow. Oh, ow, oh, you've gotta do it. There we go. And die. Oh no, I'm still alive. Hmm. Uh, and dead. There we go. So there we go. Skyhawk or die on the ground as it's also known. Anyway, like and subscribe, visit thefuturesabit.com, buy absolutely everything. Just send me cash, I've got a Patreon. Uh, I could do with a new car, could do with a new leg. I'm still waiting for a new leg. Um, anyway, until the next time, bye.